Hi everyone, um, this is Mrs. Gaynor. I am on our Screencastify to show you how to use Nearpod.com. Now we have used this with several of our students and they should be familiar with it, but I just kind of want to go through the beginning setup of it, how you get in and access the lessons. So as you could see up here, you are going to go to Nearpod.com. Then you will see where it says students and you will join a lesson. Mrs. Corrigan and I have been providing you codes for each lesson that we would like you to, um, to use. So each code is for a different activity. So for this specific one that I'm gonna show you, um, this is the code, then you click the, gr the blue arrow and that will bring you to the sign-in page. Now at this point, you are going to put your child's name in. And remember, you could just put their first name. Um, you don't have to put all the last names in as long as we know that it's that specific child. That is great. And then click Join Session. So this is actually a kindergarten lesson in which um, the students be, would be working on a specific letter recognition. So in order for this is, is a student directed lesson. So the students have access to change slides and go through them as well. Um, as you go through, you can click to the right to access the next page. Now, one of the great features of Nearpod um, is that there's this interactive reader. So if you click on this icon here, it will read anything in print on the page. Trace in uppercase B. Now, if you also would like to um, change a language, you can do translate right here and you could choose any language and it will translate in it as well. Let's go back to our slides. So at the bottom here, there are a there is a pencil, a highlighter, and a text box. So the child can pick any color or, or um, writing tool and they would trace the letter. Once they are done, so for instance, I'm going to trace the letter B and then we want to make sure that once it is complete you press submit. So that means that their answer will be recorded and you would do that for each task. This is a specific writing one so they have to write it themselves and remember from the previous slide. Remember always click submit so that your answers go through and you can read the interactive reader to give you directions on the specific task as well. Um, at the end of the lessons, uh, it will go through each of the tasks and it will be done. And in order to leave, you can just press the exit button here and your answers will be recorded. You can access um, the code multiple times. Um, the code will not expire for these specific activities, but it's a great review for our children. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us, but that's a simple way that you can access Nearpod.com, putting in the code, entering your child's name, and then going through each of the slides, reading each of the components. We hope you find this helpful.